Uh, I'm Derek. I'm Mitchell. And today we're going to open up the uh, Marvel Legends, Marvel Studios, the first 10 year Hulk Buster and Hulk. So let's get into it. And All right, so let's see. We already cut the box. We already kind of pre opened the box a little bit. Derek couldn't wait. So, you know, there's the box. It's actually got some. Pretty cool images on the side of it from the first Avengers movie. So, get Hulk out first. we got the Hulk standing with Veronica or the Hulk Buster whatever you want to call it and I gotta say I missed this wave with the um, actually both waves because I wasn't collecting Marvel Legends yet when they came out so it's actually cool that I got a second chance to get these even though I had to go two and a half hours away from home to find one yeah in kind of a dead zone for action figures and stuff but uh, yeah I'm not too sure, like I said, I don't know much about figures, but this is heavy. It's got some weight to it. Yeah. I mean, I like it. It's, oh. I like the Hulk, too. Um, the uh, only other Hulk figure I have, other than the big 12-inch one behind me, is the uh, Gladiator Hulk, which... Roughly the same size. Uh, looks like he's been doing a little bit of steroids. Might hmm. have to get him tested. He's a tad bit bigger, but yeah. overall, to have just a regular MCU Hulk is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. One thing I do like is, um, I just recently found out, um, Derek told me actually, um, I didn't understand why this figure um, of the Hulk actually had like red eyes, because I wasn't quite paying attention, realized um, this is from uh, Age of Ultron, where he's under Scarlet Witch's control, um, and kind of goes on that rampage, and um, that kind of cleared it up for me, I was real confused. Um, uh, one thing I do like is um, the articulation on it and um, how they have kind of detailed the veins out. Even um, though they have some that are kind of sticking out, but some that are just smooth, they did maintain the color with it. Um, kind of kept it. Kind of show them going through almost like a Hulk roid rage almost. <laughs> yeah, and I know a lot of people are excited that they actually put chest hair yeah. on this figure. It's, it's kind of funny. I don't, like, <laughs> wouldn't put chest hair on the Hulk. Uh, I really like the detail around the, the shorts or pants, whatever you want yeah. to call them, but that's his true power. He can never destroy a pair of shorts. I'm not sure if that's a strength or a weakness. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a nice uh, it's a nice figure overall. I mean, I'm always up for a bigger figure. That's what she said. <laughs> but yeah, next we'll go to the Hulk Buster. She being Veronica, the Hulk Buster here. Um, like I said, um, there's a lot of like sway to it. I don't know what it is. I mean, I'm sure it's like a like a springy core almost. It's just probably just loose yeah, manufacturing. Honestly, because it honestly, I kind of like it though. Man, I mean, you got swivels. You don't have a double joint knee, but you can get some articulation. Of course, you're not going to be doing any crazy poses with a figure like this. You're yeah. pretty much going to want it look intimidating next to the Hulk, which yeah. I mean, roughly, roughly, it's slightly bigger than the Hulk. A little wider, of course. But I guess you have to do that to compensate for the guess whomever, usually Tony Stark in here, just yeah. a regular person, and then and large enough to be able to also kind of combat the Hulk. I mean, compared to a regular Iron Man figure. Yeah. Which is a lot shorter than the Hulk. Oh, yeah. But it would, al it would almost kind of be cool. Um, I know there's some Hulk fi uh, Buster figures out there where you can actually have a little Iron Man inside of it, which I always thought that would be kind of cool, but I don't think Hasbro's really yeah. going to do that, even though you could fit him inside of there. Oh yeah, definitely. Like I said, this is nice. I've always been a fan. It's always been one of my favorite Hulk Buster, Hulk Buster suits. One of my favorite suits in general. Uh, like I said, I've always been I've always been a fan of the bigger figures. Especially like things like Hulk, the Hulk and Sasquatch, things like that. Those are usually my favorites. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of articulation with these, but like we were saying earlier, like it's meant to be imposing and powerful, not quick and agile. Basically the, basically the same as the Hulk. Um, like I said, there's a lot of detailing here on the back, especially. Um, like I said, um, like I said, I'm not too familiar with all this stuff. Like as I reiterate, 
but like I said, from what I can tell, just um, getting into it with these figures and kind of knowing from when I was younger what figures were like, it's a great figure and I, yeah. Kind of wishing we can get some rain. It's kind of, <coughs> we'll see, I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling a uh, Shawshank Redemption vibe with Andy Dufresne. Oh gosh. Uh, oh. <laughs> He, tw he climbs them 12 miles. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. There's the uh, Hulk Buster and Hulk uh, two pack. I'm really glad to have this and add it to the collection. Oh, yeah. That's the first in years uh, Marvel edition of them. They're, they're great. I really like them. Only thing I would like better, I mean, I'm sure that, like you said, they have it. I'm sure um, it would cost a great deal more. Because if you could actually put an Iron Man figure in it maybe possibly have some lights or something with it but like i said it's the only thing i would do um differently with it um like i said yeah but like, besides that it's great i'm really enjoying it so yeah so we'll see you guys next time all right peace